Hi, my name is Johnny Cotter from the Johnny Cotter Gallery in Rendezvous Street at Folkestone Town Centre. Now we've got this extraordinary image of David Beckham here. What gave you this idea? Well, I was looking to do a piece for a competition last year, the Threadneedle Prize, and I um, wanted to explore the, uh, the way that one uh, s worships the cult of celebrity and also lifestyle versus life goals. I watched a documentary on a program in on religion around the world and they were in an Indian um, village asking the kids if they knew who Jesus was and they all said no and one little boy put his hand up and said I know who David Beckham is and it sort of tickled me a bit and uh, made me realise how we tend to hold these people up nowadays and worship them and celebrate them when there have been cultures and religions for thousands of years that seem to be getting lost and brushed under the carpet hence the reason I chose Beckham and the subject matter. Can you just talk us through the painting and the symbolism there? Yeah, sure. It's meant to depict uh, lifestyle versus life goals. I wanted to put the dollar bill at the top because I feel that um, David Beckham, in the interviews I've seen of him, is so passionate about his football, and his footballing skills have demonstrated that. No matter what team you support, um, he is a good footballer. And he seemed to have this dream about wanting to win the World Cup, and I feel he sort of lost that when he went to America um, for the money. The piece is titled let me listen to me and not to them and uh, that's a Gertrude Stein quote and I think he listened to his agents and, and took the lifestyle option and the money which you know 125 million pounds to go to LA Lakers is great so it was really to think about what do I want in life, do I want lifestyle, do I want life goals and that's a question I think we all need to ask ourselves What interest have you had in actually purchasing the painting? I've sold this one, and I, well, this is a prototype, and I've also sold the prototype downstairs. When I was getting ready for the competition, I wanted to make sure I had the right balance of either matte or gloss, uh, a gloss frame, matte frame, so I did try different uh, techniques. Made two, this one and the one below, and the original has been acquired by a uh, celebrity, and I've just uh, had an email through asking to buy the poster that's up above the shop. And they've offered me a substantial amount of money, well into five figures, if I sign it, because it's now a global piece of artwork. Uh, which is great, because the whole reason I've set this gallery up is to get the funds to put my inferential green exhibition on this summer, part of the Triennial Fringe. And the Triennial is a fantastic thing, uh, fully support it, and I wanted to, we wanted to do our own little um, exhibition on the side of it. So th that should secure about 50% of the funds that we need to do it all. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.